This year I gave myself two um, big fitness goals uh, to achieve. Uh, the first one was to run a total of 1,000 kilometres throughout the year. Um, and the second one was to cycle 2,000 kilometres throughout the year. Uh, and I managed to succeed in both of them. Um, the other thing, I tried to put in another kind of um, goal was to uh, do a double Everest. So on your GPS watches, whenever it tells you how many metres you've inclined over a certain run, have that total up. So it's the equivalent of climbing up to Mount Everest, which is uh, 8,849 metres. Um, or, or to Mount Everest would be 1,700 and something, something metres high. And uh, I didn't manage to succeed in that. I was very close in both. Uh, on the running, I got about 15,000 metres. And on the cycling, I got 17,000 metres, but I was just off by a couple hundred metres uh, for that. Um, but th they were just additional goals. Um, and I've learned some things about that uh, over the time I've been doing it. Uh, and I think the first thing I've learned, or the main thing I've learned, is that I shouldn't ever do that again. Uh, <laughs> certainly with running. I thought that by giving myself this lofty goal, it required me to be running around about three kilometers every day. Obviously you don't do three kilometers every day, you do five kilometers one day, then rest another day, then five another day. I, you know, or it works out to around about 21 kilometers a week or half marathon, if you want to call it that. Or another way of looking at it is two marathons a month uh, in distance. Uh, so that, that always sounds a bit more impressive. Oh, Three kilometres a day, that's not much. Two marathons every month, that sounds better. Um, and I, I thought there would be some um, obvious increases in fitness. Um, I thought uh, my start of the year running would be uh, doing a five kilometre run. I thought by the end of the year, I'll be doing it in half the time. My speed will have increased, my fitness will have increased, my ability to run much longer distances will have increased. Actually, no. Uh, there's very much a case of um, you, you get far more benefit from smart training than you do from just the amount of training, uh, as it were. So I think next year, definitely not giving myself a thousand kilometre goal. Um, I don't think that has really benefited me at all. It may have caused some physiological adaptations uh, to make me generally my knees and ankles and hips stronger um, over that time or have more endurance over that time. You know, like the other day I just, I went out for a 15 kilometer jog and I feel fine. So I can do 15 kilometers, or like that was about an hour and a half. Uh, and it's quite nice to be able to have that physical ability, but I, I think you can have that physical ability through much less training, through just more focused and uh, smart training as well. So I'm going to be looking into doing Here's another thing that I never got, was that everyone, talk, or not everyone, but people talk about runner's high, whenever you feel great after you've done a big run or, or something like that. I don't get that, or at least I don't ever experience it that much. Um, however, over the last week, we, well, I've been doing some sprint training, again, very much against the doctor's orders, but uh, I've been going for maybe a three kilometre jog, and then at the end I've done very small sprints. I've done a video in the past where it's just like running from one lamppost to the next. Trying to go as fast as possible, then relax. It's like a 20, 30 second uh, speed rip kind of thing. That's it. Um, and I think I've experienced more pleasure from that, more, uh, more runner's high from some short, maybe five, six sets, six reps of that, um, of sprint training. So I think I'm going to work on that more and see if we can get that to benefit me in some sort of way. But I'm going to be re researching that. Again with the cycling, um, most of the cycling was done in summertime, so I managed to do a good 100 kilometer cycle in one go. Uh, fitness uh, on the bike went up, but again with cycling, your fitness disappears so quickly, or at least your cycling specific fitness. Like your legs just feel like lead if you haven't cycled for three weeks in a row, uh, trying to get on your bike and cycle up a hill, suddenly everything feels heavier. The other thing I would say is combining cycling and running, I didn't really feel that either of them benefited each other, but more they hindered each other. There is a way of using cycling to benefit your running by just using cycling as a, an additional thing to add to your fitness. 
And the same with running can aid your cycling. If you're a cyclist and you do a little bit of running on the side, but when you're doing equal amounts of both, um, it's very easy to over fatigue yourself too quickly um, and not necessarily get any benefits. And again, I got enjoyment from cycling, from going out for a cycle. There, there's a an enjoyment and a, a benefit of having the physical fitness to be able to go, I'm going out for a cycle and just, you've got three hours by yourself to just go out cycling, adventuring, visiting local hills and streets that you've not been to before and all that kind of stuff. And that is very pleasurable. But again, I'm not really feeling cyclists high or runners high or wherever you get. Um, but it was more an enjoyment of just being out. Have, it was a fair weather cycling as well all the time. And um, so I think, I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I've got a very expensive bike. So I definitely want to keep up my cycling. I'm not training for anything. I'm not preparing for a ultra run or for a sprint contest or for a hill climb contest or anything like that. Just effectively Strava gains is what I was trying to get on all of them. Um, I started with my running, barely any Strava gains. Uh, cycling, got a few KOMs and stuff like that, which is always great. Um, but I think next year, running will be a lot more of uh, barefoot running uh, or in Vibram Five Fingers. And uh, I'll be using running more as a tool to enhance my cycling um, rather than another thing that I need to do. Uh, and then also the weight training. So I'm going to be working more on weightlifting, getting stronger and uh, short cycles uh, for, for next year. But what the initial goals are, I don't know. But certainly aiming for a thousand, aiming for a thousand kilometres running and two thousand kilometres cycling definitely didn't benefit me in any sort of way that I was hoping it would. Oh yeah, however, uh, so the other main point is that now is uh, at the end of the year um, when the weather's bad, not doing that much cycling, doing more weightlifting and uh, one of the goals I was trying to get is to do 120 kilograms and got that uh, and now I'm trying to do 100, 100 kilograms for 10 reps. So I'm just going to go get 10 reps on 100 kilograms. <sighs> <laughs>